Looking for the cheapest coins, FIFA points and accounts online? Then go check out fifacoin.com and use my code GOON for 5% off. And if you want to earn real money playing FIFA, then sign up to cashforfifa.com and earn money there. What's up guys, Guinness to here bringing you another pink player review and today it is Pink Dumbia, the Ivory Coast striker who plays Roma. So there's a look at the squad that I played him in alongside Pink Charisma and also Pink Larice. Remember guys, 200 likes would be amazing. Make sure you're following on Twitter as well. So as we take a look at him, what you'll see, 5 foot 10, high attacking, medium defensive work rate, right footed, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Cost me 350k which is his maximum, 6 games, 11 goals and 2 assists is what he brought to the table. How to compare to his regular card? Well, he had no informs this year, so his pace has gone up by three, then defending, passing and physical all by two, and then his dribbling and his shooting has seen the biggest increases going up by four overall. And then when we look at the in-game stats, what you'll see is that nice upgrade considering he's only gone up by two. Strength is disappointing at 67, but then sprint speed and acceleration are absolutely outstanding. And then you'll see as well in terms of the skill attributes, a bit more dark green on there as well. You'll see dribbling finishing is right up there. Shot power is decent as well, which is what you want. So it's not bad in terms of the hex gun. You'll see pace, shooting and dribbling are the ones that are close to being maxed out. He can only play as a striker. Weighs 163 pounds as well. And in terms of the specialities and traits, not that many. Speed's a speciality and flair is the only trait. So what are my expectations of this card? Well, of course, this guy is the king of sweat. He even won the category in terms of what the sweatiest player that you guys wanted to get into, having the footies and getting himself a nice pink inform card. And he seemed to be the obvious choice. This was the one that everyone wanted. Since he's moved to Roma, he's definitely much easier to link up with other players now. So you can make much better squads using this guy. And I think that's why this guy was definitely the obvious choice. So what are you going to get from this guy? Well, this guy isn't the king of sweat for nothing. This guy's absolutely rapid. Any ball over the top or any ball down the wing, anything into space, he is going to get there first before anyone else. And he travels so fast with the ball as well. When you've got the four star skills and the four star weak foot as well. And his dribbling ability is much better from his regular card as well. So he's definitely much smoother on the ball. His balance isn't fantastic really. Agility isn't the best either, but his dribbling is right up there as well. The only thing that I don't like about this guy is his strength. He is weak, so he is going to get bullied. And it's a bit of a pain in the ass in terms of what you want to do with this guy. Because sometimes you'll just end up on the floor more often than not. Especially when he's in a fantastic position. But that's the only thing I can criticise him for. Everything else is absolutely fantastic. This guy will get him behind. He's a clinical finisher as well. Anything on his strong foot, even on his left foot as well. He'll be able to beat the keeper anywhere inside the box. He isn't one with amazing long shots, but you don't need it. He even gets luck. Look at that. When you under hit a shot, it ends up in the back of the net. Is he worth the coins? He's not selling for his maximum at the moment, but definitely worth buying. So if you ever what I thought about, and this guy is lightning fast. He's got clinical finishing as well. His dribbling is absolutely amazing. The four star skills and the four star weak foot are definitely bonuses as well. The only thing I don't like about this guy is that he lacks strength, but it's such an amazing card. So fast, so clinical, it's definitely worth getting. So overall, I give this card a 9.75 out of 10. So that's it for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.